Hi everyone, it's another Monday with Mary, and you may or may not have seen uh, a couple Fridays ago, I did a real quick live video asking for some topic suggestions and a choice. And so last Monday with Mary, I did one of the two choices, which was dealing with un finished business or unresolved feelings or a sense of closure and if you missed that from last week I encourage you to go back and watch it I got a lot of great feedback it seemed like it was really helpful to a lot of people uh, the other option that I had given was for a discussion my kind of thoughts and process on whether or not it's a good idea to stay friends with your ex or is it really even possible? Um, and so we are going to cover that quickly today. Just skim the surface, probably, really. And most like everything else that I sort of preach, um, but the you know one of my big themes, one of my big messages that I give to people when I'm working with them, and and I think I hope in these videos is that to know. That there is no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong. There's no should or shouldn't. There's no right time or wrong time or I should be over this or I should move on or, you know, I should get out of this. I should be ready to date again. All that really means nothing. There is no right or wrong. And when something is right for you, it will be right for you for as long as it is and maybe forever. And when it's wrong for you, it'll be wrong whenever it's wrong until you find when something is right. And that's all okay. And I think that that is a really important message around um, being friends with your ex and, and whether it's okay or not. I think that there is a time and place for all dynamics of that. And I think that it's a little bit different in each case scenario. So if you, you know, recently broke up with someone and it had been a really long-term relationship and you say to them, you know, I genuinely want to stay friends with you. I genuinely care about you. That is okay. Know that that other person may not be able to do that. They may be thinking completely the opposite. Like, I effing wish you would die, quite frankly. And I could care less about you. And good riddance, goodbye. I can't have you in my life anymore. So know that even though you may have a positive intention, just like your relationship was, there's two to this dynamic. And so it is up to that other person, too. It's not up to you. And particularly if this is a really recent breakup, don't force it. Don't think you're doing them a favor by reaching out to them and being like, hey, I'm just checking in on you. I want to see how you're doing, especially if you were the one that ended it. Um, that is not helpful necessarily and it can be really hurtful and it can call it, continue to kind of rub salt in the wound they say or just prolong healing and moving on for both of you really so be mindful of where the other person and where they are in this place um conversely if you break up and, and it's maybe it wasn't that long of a relationship maybe you had just been dating and then decided you know what we're just really good friends um, or we could be really good friends. Um, or maybe the relationship has been wrapping up and resolving for quite a long time and so you really feel like you can be in a place with being friends with them. And that's wonderful also. I think that that can really help create that closure and that moving away from this relationship. I will say to you in my experience and what I believe um, to be a really good, healthy processing and closure process, I think, is that eventually you do move away from that relationship and you find that they now become an acquaintance or someone that you used to know. And again, that's not to say that, you know, 
you hope they gain 60 pounds and uh, their life implodes and they end up with terrible STDs. Um, you know, that's saying that just they become someone that you can think of fondly and that, but you're not feeling a draw or a, this big pull to stay in relationship with them or keep them in your life. And they can be someone that you run into them on the street with their new partner and it doesn't feel awkward and it's great and you're happy to see them with someone else and doing well. Um, that's the kind of level of friendship that I think in a really healthy dynamic is often the way that it ends up going even if you did start out as friends um, and, you know, pretty staying in each other's lives pretty in a, in a pretty high level of establishment even after you break up you know I'm talking like you still get together for coffee or they still help you do something or they still you know go help you car shopping if that's not your thing but that was their thing um you know I think that it's a good process for you to eventually move down the road to this other space where you have endearing feelings for them and you know you'll you'll always love them always care about them and you always respond if if they um need your help or are going through a tough time or something i think that's fine and and there's nothing wrong with that by any means at all and that friendship will evolve just the way all of your other friendships do just to close though i want to say that this does not mean that staying in friendship with your ex is always healthy or good. Sometimes it is our way of clinging that to that relationship and not really letting things go. That is like a whole nother video. Uh, the other side, the other piece that I want to just leave you with is that if you do not want to stay friends with them and they want to stay friends with you, it is okay for you to say no. No. I can't do that right now. Maybe down the road I will be able to. I can't do that because that doesn't feel like I'm honoring myself and I'm not giving my space room for closure. Whatever your reason is, it's okay to say no also. And if you are in friendship with your, with your ex and it seems pretty established, it's like on the same level as many of the other relationships that you have, friendship relationships that you have. I would ask you just to take a look and be really honest with yourself about whether this is healthy and holding you in place in a way of holding on to that past relationship, preventing you from moving on. All right, everyone. That is all for today. Another long one. Sorry, trying to keep them short, but that's just not been happening lately. Um, anyway, I hope that you all have a great rest of your week. And as always, please comment below or message me. Send me your thoughts, videos that you'd like, or any questions or ways I might be able to help to support you. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your week.